I'm going to tell three stories of things that have happened to me in classrooms that I think illustrate stuff that we neither need to care about more or our students need to know that we care about it. All right. So the first one, I went to a school in Colorado to do a workshop with the teachers after school. And I said, hey, can I teach your geometry classes during the day? Because you have Sketchpad. So we went to the lab. And we all constructed, we were doing centers of triangles. So we all constructed centroids. So you know, if everyone constructs a centroid, they're, kind of, they're not that interesting, really, because they all kind of look the same. They're all sort of in the center. So we, then we get to the circumcenter. Everyone constructs circumcenters. And now they're talking about whose is wrong, because they're different. Right? Yours is wrong. You didn't follow directions. I did too. Yours is wrong. So I thought, well, this would be a great chance to get them to talk about how do circumcenters work? Why do they work the way they do? So I wrote some questions on the board. When is the circumcenter inside, outside, on the triangle? And these kids are like, well, those are dumb questions. It's so obvious. I'm like, it's not really. And, and this one kid is sitting there. And he's sitting there, and he's just staring off into space. And I'm like, huh, OK. So I go over, and I go, what's up? And he's like, let me get this right. You actually like math. <laughs> I said, yeah, I do. And he just was like, OK. So I just left him. I said, I'm just going to leave him there for a minute. And I thought about it. I thought, he has a great teacher. He's in a good school. He's had good teachers all along. They care about him. They care about how he does it. He had never met someone who he thought actually liked math. Right? So this is really important. We want kids to be passionate about something and to see that we are passionate about it. So the first thing that we should care about more is math. Just math for math sake. It's cool, right? Okay. All right, so I'm glad we all agree on that one. So in the second one, I'm working with some fourth graders who need to do a little bit better on the PSSA, the Pennsylvania State Test. And so I have them for 45 minutes a, day, a week. All right. Now, this one kid, we were doing some test questions. See, his paper is blank, right? So he hadn't been there the previous week. And so he thinks, oh, man, my idea, i got to copy off my neighbor, right? Because I'm supposed to have the answers, because that's what we're all about, answers, right? And I'm like, I don't really care about that. And so next thing you know, this other, this girl, Niani. Now, Niani had been a pain in my butt the whole time. OK, let me tell you. She jumps up, and she says to him, stop copying. Miss Annie doesn't care if you have the right answers. She cares that you know why they're the right answers. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Like, she has not been paying any attention at all. And she totally gets it. She gets what I care about. Three sessions, 45 minutes, and she's like, answers don't matter. The whys matter. So, uh, and I was like, this is great. I can, I can convince kids of this. You can convince the kids of this. So this is the second thing on our list. We need kids to know that we care about the whys. All right? That's very important. Let's go. All right? Are we all for it? OK. All right. So this brings us to my third story. OK, so I went into this first grade classroom, and I taught a model lesson. I, I didn't know the teacher. I'd worked in the school a lot. Uh, 45 minutes straight out of the everyday math book to show them that it can be done in not a really crappy way. And two weeks later, I set foot over the threshold, and these kids run up to me, these little first graders, miss, miss. And I'm like, what? And they're like, ask us what 70 plus 40 is. And I'm like, uh, OK, so, um, so what's 70 plus 40? And these kids are like, they're about to pee their pants, OK? They're so excited. They are like, it's 110. I'm like, how did you know that so fast? They're like, well, see, there's the 70 and there's 40, and they both have a zero, and you just take the zeros off, and the 7 and the 4, that's 11. Everybody knows that. And then you put the zero back on, and it's 110. They were just dying to tell me what was in their head, because when I was in their classroom for 45 minutes, I asked what was in their heads the whole time. And they figured that out. One time, they were like, this woman wants to know what I got in here. Right? So that leads us to the third thing that is on our list of things that we really should care about more. All right, we need to care about students' thinking and their ideas. And we need them to know that we do, because that has to be the lifeblood of our classroom. Right? We talk about making life math relevant to kids, because we're going to do it about basketball and shopping. The most relevant possible way we could do math is make it related to what is already in their heads. Right? And that can be about the math, because we love math. It can be whatever. But it's relevant to them, because it's about their thinking, not about some artificial, fake, real world thing that we came up with. So you're all going to take a pledge with me. Are you ready? Okay. I, Annie, do solemnly swear on a Mary Dulciani textbook that I will make more obvious to my students my love of math, care and ask about the whys more often, and elicit and value more of my students' thinking and ideas. So help me, Euclid.